Hello and welcome to another Lead Code Solution video. This is problem number 27, remove element. For this problem, we're given an integer array nums and an integer val. Remove all occurrences of val and nums in place. The order of the elements may be changed. Then return the number of elements in nums which are not equal to val. Consider the number of elements in nums which are not equal to val to be k. To get accepted, you need to do the following things. Change the array nums such that the first k elements of nums contain the elements which are not equal to val. The remaining elements of nums are not important as well as the size of nums. Return k. There's a custom judge for this problem, so the judge will test your solution with the following code. If all the assertions pass, then your solution will be accepted. For example, one, we're given an input nums array of 3, 2, 2, 3 with a val of 3, so our output will be equal to 2. k will be equal to 2 because that is the number of elements that are not equal to val. And then for example 2, our nums array is 0, 1, 2, 2, 3, 0, 4, 2, and our val is 2. So our output will be 5, as there are 5 elements that are not equal to our val in this input array. Let's go through an example. For this example, we'll have our input nums array of 1, 2, 2, 3, 5, and our value will be equal to 2. For this solution, we're going to want to have a length variable, which we'll use to keep track of the new length of the modified array. We'll start with length equal to 0, so we're pointing at the first element in our array. So we're going to want to loop through our input array and check each element to see if it's equal to our val. So starting with our first element, 1 does not equal 2. So we'll set the index that our length is pointing to equal to our current value. Since it's the same element, nothing will really happen. And then we'll increment our length by 1. So now we're pointing at the second element. 2 is equal to our val, so we will do nothing and continue iterating through. So now we're at the third element, which equals 2, which is equal to our val. So we'll do nothing, continue going through our array. And we're at 3. 3 does not equal val, so we'll set the value at our pointer where length is pointing to, to be equal to our current value, which is three. So now this is three, and then we want to increase length by one. And now we're looking at five. Five does not equal our value. So we will set our current length pointer position equal to five and increase our length by one. And now that we've gone through the whole array, we can just return our length. So our output would be three. Let's jump into the code. First thing we want to do is define our length and set it equal to zero. Next, we'll want to have a for loop to go through all of our elements in our array. Now we we'll want to check to see if our current elements value is equal to our input value. And if it's not equal, we'll want to set our index in our array that length is pointing to equal to our current num value. And then increase length by one. That's it for our looping, so we can just return length at this point. That's it for our code, so let's run this. All test case pass, so let's submit. Our solution was accepted, so that's it for this problem. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, make sure to check out my channel. Thanks for watching.